Call meet and order. Mm -hmm. Please rise, Mr. Brooker. Give us invocation, please. Heavenly Father, come before you once again, thanking you for this day. Thanking you for waking us up this morning in our right minds, with breath in our bodies. Heavenly Father, we ask now that you bless this meeting, that it be all of you and none of us. Ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Liberty and justice for all. We have anybody sign in to speak? Yes, okay. Mr. Perry, you want to make a motion now? Uh, I need to make a motion that we add an item to the agenda under approvals number four, North Mainland Basin Assessment. Okay. Second. All in favor? Communications and customer service, we have nothing to report at this time. Uh, economic development is Mr. Boland, and he is nothing to report at this time. <laughs> Facilities? Nothing to report. Finance? Finance uh, committee uh, information we presided or presented during the discussion portion on the fi monthly financial report. Human resources, Mr. Case. No report. And Mr. Boland's legislation, nothing to report. Okay. All right, we're under presentation with Mr. Casey. Be happy to do that with Ms. Barnhart. Cindy Barnhart. All right, y'all want, hey, Cindy, how are you? Very good. It's with a great deal of pleasure that uh, I make the announcement that the Georgia State Board of Examiners for Certification of Water and Wastewater Treatment Plant Operators and Laboratory Analysts recognizes the following JWSC employee. Wastewater Operator Class 3, Matthew Samuel Lane. Thank you very much, Sam. This employee is now permitted to practice water operations in the state of Georgia and is entitled to all the privileges allowed under the Registration Act of Georgia. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Now we'll go to uh, item number one, approval of the minutes from December 1st. Everybody look at them. And Mr. Chairman, I move to accept the minutes of second. December 1st. I have an approval and a second. Any questions? All in favor? Thank you. Item number two is Mr. Todd Klein. Urbana. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, good afternoon. This is a uh, memo for approval for a change over for Urbana, which is uh, currently ongoing in the city of Brunswick. Uh, this did go before facilities as a discussion item, gave a little brief background. At that time, we did not have the specific numbers and pricing negotiated from the contractor, so it wasn't. Uh, a pre or a motion to that time to move forward to full commission as a as a full change order, but we do have everything and all the information together now for a change order uh, with recommendations. Basically, uh, in Urbana, we're replacing a lot of old um, defected gravity sewers, okay. and uh, the original design documents did not include grouting or grout filling those abandoned sewer mains. So, in particular, the ones underneath the roads. Not so concerned about the ones that are out from under roads and the right of ways and the grass shoulders, uh, but the ones underneath roads, the reasons that we're replacing these mains in the first place is because they are failing. Uh, those failures can result and often do result in uh, roadway defects, sinkholes, potholes, et cetera. So uh, it's advisable to go ahead and grout fill those before this contract is up. 
uh, so we'll have to face those issues further down the road. And uh, there was a section that was slated for grouting as part of the abandonment, uh, which is a section from pump station 4019 out in the, the uh, median of 17 back towards the area of McDonald's and Popeyes. That section was slated to be grout filled. Uh, so there is a unit price there to do the work, but that was at $10.50 a linear foot. Um, there surely was an economy of scale if we increased the footage to be grouted, and there was uh, negotiated with the contractor. We buy that price from 1050 linear foot to 850 linear foot, so we saved about uh, $12,000 uh, as if we were other than going straight with the original uh, line item pricing. So uh, staff has reviewed and has three options. Number one, always is do nothing. Uh, likely would face these road repairs in the future if we did choose that option. Number two is go back to the contractor again, request a modification to their uh, pricing. The number three is approve the change order. Uh, additional project costs as proposed by Washington County Machine Shop. Staff did review and recommends option three. We mentioned the $10.50 uh, reduction down to $8.50 linear foot uh, pricing as well. And there's a recommended motion after that. Happy to answer any questions. Since that motion made, I'll do it. Any questions first? Need a motion first. Need a motion first. Make a motion. I move to approve the executive director to facilitate the additional work to properly abandon the sewer mains as presented by Washington County Machine Shop for the total amount of $50,396.50 to be processed as a change contract order. Second. Any questions? <coughs> I have a a question. Does this extend the, the time frame to complete the project? No, sir. Okay. So it'll be within the... Within the still, yes, sir. Still on track. Uh, now, we do have, I'll mention this, we do have an update meeting with the contractor. Uh, commissioners are most definitely invited uh, tomorrow at 1.30 in the conference room. And it's just simply a meeting to sit down. Let's go over the last items on the schedules. We're nearing completion of this project. Make sure we're staying on track. Um, Everyone's invited, of course, to go to that meeting, so commissioners. But uh, the most recent schedule with grouting, et cetera, we're still looking at uh, likely second week of uh, January 2017. Okay. Completion. But we're going to expedite it all that we can. We are pushing. Yes, sir. We're, every bit of expedition we can do, we're going to commit to it, I hope. Definitely, definitely. Those folks out there have been put through enough, and, and uh, we need to wrap it up out there. We okay. need, to, need, need to pull an end to it. Todd, is this still going to do away with the lift station out on 17? It will. I'm glad you asked It'll be that. Gone. Yes, sir. It will be gone. Uh, system public maintenance cannot wait until they can be done with that station. Uh, <laughs> you'll see them out there plenty. Yeah, the, the auxiliary pump's been out there in the median for some time now, and that's scheduled, I believe, the 14th of the January. It caused a lot of wrecks, also. Yeah. It, it does. Lots it does. of accidents. All right. Any other questions? All in favor? Thank you. Number three, Mr. Todd Klein again. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, this is a memo for uh, change order request for Mansfield Street Project, another project within the city limits. Uh, to boil it down, there were two homes that were discovered as uh, gravity sewers being replaced that were uh, not connected properly. This change order is to allow the connection of those two homes uh, to be properly connected to the new sewer that's being installed, or is almost actually nearing completion. And uh, total amount, $8,789.75. Was this just something missed on the design? It was, Commissioner. They were uh, these houses were soon to be connected out on Union, and it was oh, discovered sorry. that they were actually connected uh, in some fashion <laughs> to the the sewer on Mansfield. So, just an out of scope change. It was, yes, sir. I'm ready to make a motion. I move to authorize the executive director to execute a contract change order in the amount of $8,789.75 for the additional work described, described in Exhibit A. Second. Any 
Any questions? Call in favor? Thank you. Number four, North Mainline Basin Assessment. And I guess that's Mr. Junkin. Uh, basically what this is is a request to make a change order to the uh, work that we had, we had spoken of on the previous meeting. We've got our numbers finalized and the additional cost or the change in cost would be 113000 Is that correct? 113 and uh, $570. And this is to uh, take the work that we were looking at uh, rerouting the 4005 and upgrading 4005 for additional capacity and 4048 and the design is deemed to be that uh, more effective and efficient for us to reroute the 4048 force main to bypass 4005 and accomplish uh, two goals by upgrading 4048 and eliminating the work at 4005. And this is a request to make the change to the contract to the consulting agreement in the amount of $113,570. With Hussey Gay Bell. Were we able to get any numbers how many are used as ads? It, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Does it give us any relief? It, it only it gives us some relief at the uppermost, and what we were working to was the 4010. With the changes that we've outlined to uh, reconfigure and add a auxiliary pumps up there, we would get us back in the green at uh, uh, let's see, at 4,005 would go back in the green, 4,110 would go back in the green, but 4,110 is the one where we're getting the most pressure, and it would get us barely back in the green. We would release we would release uh, about 70 REUs is what we determined, so it would. Uh, and based there to sell it. Oh yeah. Okay. In fact, that's the problem right now. That we did the analysis this week, and even since we did the analysis, uh, we've had another request for 50 or 52 more RU. So we're at a point where we're freeing up 70, but there's 160 in demand. So we're going to start the lottery system. I didn't say that. Okay. But that would be the uh, next directive. I, I think there's a fair number of those. Uh, We've got two of the uh, requests are for bulk numbers of REUs. So we may go back and the 89 that uh, I originally had before two weeks ago were spread out over a period of a couple of years. We're going to probably do a survey as we did on 2032 and see how many people are still interested. And if we can get by with, you know, uh, a, a smaller number that can, you know, get out there and get started with uh, or need to get started within the ni next 90 to 180 days, uh, we may go that route. The difference being here, the, uh, we're still looking at somewhere between 12 and 18 months before the REUs would be freed up at 4110, even with uh, all the things we're doing to uh, make it go faster. On this side of the world, uh, off the island, the homes go up in anywhere from four to six months. We're not looking at a 24-month home build, so it'll mean people are building and sitting on those taps or sitting on those homes waiting for the taps to go through for a much longer period. So it, it may not be a, 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 as good an issue as we, we would like or as our customers would like. Chair, we haven't had a motion yet. So, so do we have a motion? Uh, okay. Mr. Chairman, I move that approval be granted to the attached proposal from Hussey Gay Bell in the amount of $113,570 to provide professional services for the lift station 4048 Force Main reroute. Okay. All in favor? Second. We're under discussion. 
the end of the month, Mr. John Dunkley. Commissioner, so find in your packets the uh, statements for November 30th, 2016, <coughs> albeit somewhat abbreviated. We've had, since our last software upgrade, we've had some technical problems with the ad hoc reporting in our financial modules that's so actually being worked on today. We, we have the, uh, to start with, we have the balance sheet and as in prior months, you'll see that there's an increase in the bond sinking fund building up to the December 31st interest payment of uh, about $920,000. Um, and again, the restricted cash has gone down from um, this fiscal year, but uh, fixed assets have gone up. And then um, in the current liabilities, you'll see the $922,000 of accrued interest payable <coughs> on November 30th, it would have been paid the next day. Where, where is this at? Pardon me? Current liabilities. Okay, because I'm just trying to follow you, Jim. That's yeah. Well, Going too kind of fast. Go through the numbers again, real quick. I'm sorry. Okay. The. Uh, <coughs> In the uh, second line down under current assets is the bond sinking fund that went from 321000 on June 30th to $1.9 on November 30th. That's, uh, we contribute that, uh, to that monthly for one-sixth of the next interest payment that's paid biannually and then one-twelfth of the next principal payment which is paid annually on June 1st. So that money has been building up over the past, <coughs> since June 1st. And then um, down under the current liabilities, about one, two, three, four, the fifth line down, you'll see that the accrued interest payable on the bond is $922,000, and that would have been paid December uh, 1st by the bond trustee to the bondholders. Now, following that statement is the um, detailed revenue and expenditures for um, the five months ending November 30th. On the top of page two of that document, you see our total operating revenues for the first five months were budgeted at, at just short of $11.7 million. The actual revenues to date are $12,388,000, so we are running ahead of uh, pro rata budget in that, uh, in our operating revenues. And then if <coughs> the next several pages are the details by division of the expenditures leading up to page 13 um, <coughs> on line 40, 484 of this. Uh, this report and the total operating expenditures so far this year. We were on a pro rata basis $8.2 million of uh, budgeted expenditures. Right now we have actual expenditures of um, uh, $7,695,000. So we're running behind or not expending as much as the uh, pro rata budget. However, we do have uh, $1.26 million of purchase orders outstanding. And again, some of those are, are blanket purchase orders that won't be um, executed until later on in the year. So there's some timing in that. Which we, and then there are the uh, capital fees, the interest payments, uh, and principal and reserve deposits leading up to um, page 16 of the document where we have actual net revenues this year of, so far this year, of $1.5 million. This is on page 16. Line and, um, this line, this is the very last line, 573. Our net, uh, net revenues over expenditures for the year so far is $1.5 million. And again, we have some purchase orders outstanding against that that will be fulfilled over the next few months. And when those are taken into account, there's where um, we have expenditures 
in excess of revenues of about six hundred thirty thousand of course that there is some timing differences in that that we've been um, we haven't been able to this uh, this reporting period because of our software problems to um, put a uh, timetable on those outs outstanding purchase orders to show where we actually are at this point that's so are we definitely going to be yeah. Pardon me? Uh, uh, so are we going to be in this kind of deficit no matter what happens with that purchase orders, or you're not sure? Um, that I would have to have the, um, how long those purchase orders are out, when they're expected to be uh, liquidated, to be able to give, give you an accurate answer to that, Commissioner. Okay. So all of those may be, will be within this fiscal year? They should, they'll be within the fiscal year, yes. Were you able to capture any of the expenses from the storm? Are they in here? And the the expenditures are in here. Um, our financial analyst is working on the reimbursement forms with the FEMA representatives yeah, along with the around. other superintendents, and we haven't actually received any insurance reimbursements or FEMA reimbursements as yet. Yeah, ballpark range. Do you know how much it cost us? The last number I had was something about half to three quarters of a million huh. and you think wh what percentage you think we'll get back uh, we'll get from FEMA not back but that I don't know we just hope and so. I don't have an answer to that okay I'm, I'm going to say it's uh, if it goes like it does in most situations the numbers I keep hearing thrown around are you know 70 to 75 percent of what we've asked for and uh, that's if they pay. Oh, got it. Okay. I just was wondering. They qualify. I mean, we would qualify for 70, 75 percent of what we've submitted to be reimbursed. But everything I'm hearing is yeah, it's I, really. I don't want to throw a number out. Uh, I was just wondering if our deficit m was tied to the storm issues. To some extent, yes. Okay. So it may it doesn't it's of course any, that would an, that would answer any for reimbursement we receive will, will certainly go to reduce that that number. Thank you. Well, and what are y'all looking at with the county getting back? Do you know what the percentage is? That that give you a uh, no. Nobody told me anything less than uh, we're we're getting back what we spend. I know with ten million dollars, I think the. Uh, um, the issue was uh, on the private roads on uh, pickup. Yeah, we didn't expect to. Well, we weren't sure, but I, I think we've not, we're not getting that back. But, uh, so. How do they how do they work the pay during the storm? Is that what our normal pay is plus the overtime? Yes, sir. It was. I mean, four, forty hours our, a week. Our employees would have been working those days anyway, so they don't reimburse you for that portion of. It. It's just the overtime it's, that's it's the overtime the storm, that's correct? incurred because of the storm event. Yes. Okay, and then what material would we have? What materials? Yeah, well, that would we be. We would have had we, we would have had storm cleanup first. That, uh -huh. That's one part of it. Um, any equipment rentals that we had because of that, and generators, um, um, extra trucks, that kind of. Yeah, thing. but now what does our insurance cover? Because we don't want to. I mean, we have some insurance claims that that cover part of the cleanup, right? Yes. Yeah. And we, have and we don't get reimbursed based on what we had insurance for, do we? I mean, that would be double dipping. Yeah. No, we we have to file the insurance claims first. If FEMA reimbursed us for them, we would have to turn around and uh, reimburse those insurance proceeds to FEMA again. So we're we're going. Sandra's working with our um, our insurance agents to get all of those claims filed first. And Nisha is working with FEMA to, and she's it's broken up into pieces, smaller pieces that are more easily managed. And she's submitted some of those to FEMA now, and, and the others will be going shortly. Okay. But and on the insurance claim, I understand we've gotten the issues sorted out on the deductible? I believe so. Thank you.
Thank you. Your executive director update. Anything? Uh, one big issue to uh, report today. Uh, Sorry. One big issue to report today. I received a letter this week from uh, Sandy Egan, our trusted administrator for, I don't know how long you guys have had her working here, but in the short time I've been here, she's been an extremely valuable member of the team. And she submitted a letter to me uh, earlier this week, said her last day with our commission will be January the 18th. Uh, and uh, I gotta say, We'll all miss her a lot based on all the things she's done for us. And, uh, I quit. <laughs> As of this meeting? <laughs> I tried to bribe her. So are you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for what you've done. I've got another, another month uh, still, but we're hoping to train someone and get them in here uh, soon. and. Uh, uh, get them established and ready. So it's been an honor. I've enjoyed ev each and every one of you. Uh, the whole, the whole group has been a lot of fun. So I've enjoyed it. Thank you. We're a new chapter of our life of retirement. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Thank you. Sam. Thank you so much, Sam. That's what I've got, Mr. Chairman. Really? Mm -hmm. I have nothing on the chairman update. So we have a motion to go on executive session. Yeah. Motion. I have a motion going on executive session. I don't know if there'll be a vote taken to tell. Oh, is there anything for us to be. vote? I think there is. I think I, there is. Okay. I, Matthew, we may have a vote. And <laughs> <laughs> this is the addendum. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. I'll uh, uh, make a motion that we uh, uh, have our executive director to in enter into an employment agreement to hire uh, an executive deputy director, uh, that being Thomas A. Boland, Sr., and that the agreement with Thomas A. Boland Sr. and the Joint Water Sewer will sunset in six months. Second. Uh, Do we add to that and make it unless it's terminated by? Yeah, you know, we need to add that. In, in, unless it's terminated by, by the higher Tom Boland Sr. or, or, or our executive director. Mr. Jones. Salary and those particulars will be ratified at a later date by the commission. That's fine. Good motion. Second. Second. All in favor? I'll make a motion we adjourn. One quick one quick thing I, I'd like to add. Thank Commissioners Cason and Commissioners Perry for their service and it's been a pleasure to work with you and I think you've been a, a wonderful asset to the commission. Booker. And Commissioner Booker, too? Man, we're being decimated. Uh, Y'all have been great. I, I think you've all added a, a level of professionalism that has, has not been here before, and I think the whole organization has been enriched by you all service and yours as well. We're just going to continue to use, use your now, talents and intelligence for a little bit longer. They have to be here on 5 January. They do? Well, I still. But no, you should say this. That's now. great. It's good. I'll, I'll say this. Who's got to be here on 5 January? <laughs> you, sir. Why? Because it's not official. It's not well, official until they're sworn in. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be here. <laughs> I, I will say this for, for Johnny, and probably it echoes with, with all of us that are leaving this board. We're all taking away a lot more than, than what we brought here, I'll assure you. I, I really believe that. Uh, it, that. There's been a lot gained here, but the folks that are making the exodus are the ones that, that are carrying it away because we know that, that there's a way to carry on here in, in the fashion and, and I want to thank everybody for that.
I really do. Everybody's made contribution. And, and again, to Sandy, she, with her notes, she can this actually come great. read our notes and you know what we've we decided <laughs> here. She knew what we said even when we didn't say she it. She did. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. I can echo what Mr. Cason said. I appreciate it. Great. Merry Christmas, y'all. God bless you. It's been a while. That's it. All right. Yes, sir.